One of my favorite things to eat is pickled eggs. I really like to have a hard boiled egg in the morning for breakfast. And since we have chickens and we have eggs, a lot of the times I will take a dozen or so eggs and put them in my instant pot and pressure cook them for about eight, nine minutes and voila hard boiled eggs beautiful hard boiled eggs so the fun thing for me lately has been trying out new things to pickle them with and so I have a few favorites now of ingredients that I like to pickle my eggs with and I thought it would be fun to have a few of those recipes put out for you guys to enjoy as well because if you have fresh eggs and want to have some nice eggs in your refrigerator to have as a snack or for your breakfast with a little extra punch to them maybe then I really highly recommend this. It's not your average pickled egg either. The ingredients for this are pretty simple. The only thing that maybe you might not have are some pickling spices. If you're a homesteader, I recommend getting some of these because they're, I, I keep them on hand for whenever I'm making pickles, relishes, whatever. I like to make my own as much as I like to use little mixes and things like that. So it's, it, they're, they're pretty inexpensive. You can get them at almost any grocery store. The one specialty thing that you could probably substitute with a few different options is I found this McCormick Sriracha seasoning that I really, really like because I like Sriracha and so I'm finding this to be a fun spice for me to use. So I particularly like it in, the, in my pickled eggs. So that's the recipe we're gonna be doing today. But if you don't have Sriracha, in in the sort of seasoning spice kind of thing you could probably just use straight sriracha um, you'd have to play around with the quantity of it i haven't tried to just use sriracha when i have sriracha I usually end up just putting it on the hard boiled egg it's really good that way but you could also probably use tabasco sauce or something along those lines Maybe even chili powder. Chili powder might be kind of good. Those, those are the tricky ingredients. And other than that, we have sugar, salt, and some vinegar. I like to use apple cider vinegar. I just think the taste is a little better, but you could substitute other kinds of vinegars. Like, I wouldn't do a balsamic vinegar, but a red wine vinegar would probably be good. A just a straight out white vinegar would be fine. It wouldn't have quite the same flavor. It might be a little on the tartar side. So experiment with that and see what you like. So for this recipe, I'm gonna open my jar. It's really, really simple. So what I like to do is I fill my jar with the eggs in it a little over halfway and I don't have a full jar of eggs right now just because I had another batch that I made earlier. And then I've got a tablespoon of sugar here, just plain old sugar. You could, you could probably use any kind of sugar other than maybe powdered sugar wouldn't work very well. So if you're kind of special with your sugars, you could try using honey, you could try using cane syrup, you could try using brown rice sugar, that kind of thing. So then next I'm going to do a kind of like a scant tablespoon of salt. I don't want it super salty. So you can see that's less than a full tablespoon. And I just dump these things in there. Um, and I'm going 
going to do a tablespoon of the pickling. Another reason about nice to have this nice big one is I can fit my whole tablespoon in there. So got that in there. And then last but certainly not least, we have our sriracha. And since I don't want to get this over it and I'd rather have more in there than less, I'm just going to go right over the top. Oops, I still got it all over. <laughs> so then when I'm done with that, I'm going to close this up so I don't spill it all. And for me, it's easier to shake this up first with less in it because the next step we're going to do is I'm just going to fill up to about the top of the eggs right here. This fill line is a good marker for this many eggs. I think there's six or seven in there, maybe five. <laughs> and I'm just going to go over to the fridge and fill it up. And now you can see, it's very pretty. I like this one because it's so pretty. It looks pretty in my refrigerator. And usually because I get hungry <laughs> for these eggs, I will, I will start eating them the next day. But really, I would say if you wait two or three days, then the flavor is just going to be really, really good. And they just kind of have a, a little bit more of a smoky, sweet kind of flavor than your typical pickled egg. So I hope you enjoy this and let me know what you think of your pickled eggs. Hi, so I'm back and ready to do some more pickled eggs. I've got some jars here of two sets of pickled eggs. There's about six in each jar and I'm going to make two batches. And so we're going to do a spicy pickled egg and a mustard pickled egg. And hopefully you enjoy them. So the first one is a spicy pickled egg and it's pretty simple. I like, I don't like to do the thing where you say, you know, pour out this many cups of, of water and this many cups of, of the apple cider vinegar and put sugar in it and add all the spices and heat it up on your soft pan, in your soft pan and then wait for it to cool and then put your eggs in it and then you end up with something that you're like okay now I've got like two cups of this stuff that's left over and those are terrible. I, I, I really like to just keep it very very simple and my theory is, is that any sugar and salt is going to dissolve pretty quickly anyways. It's, it's marinating in here guys so it's not like super duper necessary to make everything you know completely liquid and stuff like that so that's my theory anyways you can do whatever you want but this is how I like to do it so for the spicy pickled eggs what I'm gonna do is just like last time I'm gonna take and I'm just gonna kind of eyeball at about right here it's halfway what we're gonna add next is a teaspoon of salt and you can kind of use any salt that you like. I happen to have this Canadian pickling salt, so I've just been using it for other things, and so I have it out and available, and I just open it, and it's kind of neat. Whenever you open these box things, it takes a while to get the salt down far enough that you can easily get in here, so I'm like, I'm going to use this salt until, until it's ready for me to, you know, safely use. <laughs> So, so that's kind of the motivation for this giant box today, more than anything. I've got several different kinds of salt. And then we're going to add some pickling spice again. And this one is a tablespoon. So, yeah, that won't fit in there. So, next best thing. And it doesn't matter that it's kind of getting all over in there because like I said, it's a marinade, so. So we've got a tablespoon of that in there. And then we're going to do another tablespoon of brown sugar. And I just like using brown sugar in this one because it kind of 
it has a more mellow sweetness, I think, then. That goes really well with the spice. That was just a little extra um, brown sugar. And then finally we're going to add some cayenne pepper. It may be labeled as red pepper in your store. So if you're finding red pepper and not cayenne pepper, it's, it's pretty much the same thing. More than likely. So be careful that you wash your hands if you're playing with the plastic things that they put on the jars and stuff like that. I'm actually... Sometimes I will throw these away just because... If you have to take this off every time you use it, then <laughs> then you should just throw it away. So I see other people taking these off all the time when I'm at other people's houses, and I'm like, I wonder if they use that ever. So I leave it on the red pepper because sometimes I do shake just a tiny bit when it, I'm just using a smidge of it. So in fact, most of the time when I make this, I probably would just use a little shaker because we're only going to put in about an eighth of a teaspoon. Um, if you like it a little less spicy, you can use a little less than that. You can see I've mounded mine because I like it to be just a tiny bit spicier than that. Put back on. So this is why I don't like these things because I'm sticking my fingers all over red pepper. So, so then and this is, this is sort of my trick, is that once I get it, so that, that all the ingredients other than the water is on in there, so then I will kind of leave that extra space and just shake it up nice. And so you can see that because there's only so much liquid in there, this is really absorbing pretty well. And over time, it will even get better. And like I said before, I will use the, the brine from this multiple times. So as long as I'm not seeing a bunch of egg gunk in there, I'll just keep reusing it. So I'll do another set of hard boiled eggs and throw them in there. So now I've got a nice brine and I'm gonna add my water to fill it up to the top and there you go a very pretty spicy pickled egg okay so our next recipe is for mustard pickled eggs and this is one that I really like because it has mustard and turmeric in it and I have an autoimmune disease that causes a lot of inflammation and turmeric is really good to help with that so I like having, a, this This will be my breakfast of choice on days where maybe I've had a overnight headache or not been feeling very good. It's, it just, it's just a way to add a nutrient that you need into your body, your system, just in a nice way. So I, I like to use turmeric in these eggs because, because of that, but also because they're very beautiful and I like the mustardy taste. and this is just a really good recipe so we are going to start off with a half a teaspoon of this turmeric it's very pretty you can see it's extremely bright colored and so this adds a lot of the mustardy color to the egg so they will be uh, <laughs> almost neon bright egg so that they're very very orange yellow so very pretty and so you can see these jars I have removed the annoying things because I am never going to shake out a little bit of mustard it's just weird and so we're doing a, a half a teaspoon of the ground mustard and it is ground so if you're looking for this at your grocery store don't get um, mustard seed be careful because you may accidentally if you don't know that mustard comes in mustard powder and mustard seed you may end up getting home and find out that you have the seeds and what you want with this one is the mustard to be ground into a powder so we've got half a teaspoon of each of those 
And then we're going to do a teaspoon of salt. Get the tab up on the salt. tablespoon of sugar and I'm not going to use the brown sugar this time I'm going to use regular white sugar but I think you probably could use a brown sugar in it and it probably would be good I just haven't tried it that way this is how I've been making it so so now we've got those in there and there's no reason rhyme or reason for why I put the, the vinegar in first the last time and it's just, I'm just making these. I literally have a little, I got Microsoft OneNote on my computer and I just put all of my ingredients on there and I just kind of write the ingredients and you know, the rest I remember. It's more for what I have figured out from looking at and trying other recipes and things and saying, I don't like this part and I like this part and you know, kind of making it up as I go until I have stuff that I like to make myself. So, so these are two recipes that I really like. So again, we've got it filled up and there's, you know, kind of a little bit of sticky goop from those spices in there. And so then we just get our lid on good and tight and shake it up. And obviously I'm not shaking this super hard. Don't give this to your toddler and say shake it, <laughs> please. <laughs> because that will just give you a mushed up mess of eggs. So you don't want to over shake it either. Um, but what I'm looking for is to kind of get to the point where I've got liquid and not kind of a sediment looking thing in it. So yeah, and that looks pretty good. And so then the next step is, just like the last time, take the lid back off and fill it up with water. So now I've shown you three very pretty, these are two, of hard-boiled pickled eggs and how to make your own hard-boiled eggs two different ways. And so you should be able to get yourself a set of these will make brown eggs these will make a yellow orange eggs and the sriracha ones that we made before will make a pretty red egg so i hope you enjoy this thank you <coughs> I can't get this part out this is awful i'm dying from this pepper